Okay, here, here's Bachelor episode number two. I thought maybe I would try and uh, watch a couple more of these and review them. I'm not sure I'll be able to sit through them all or not, but uh, we'll see what happens. And this night is unbelievable. Me, how me, why me? I've met 20 Because you got dumped on national TV. That's why. Women, and you're all here for me. You just had a birthday on July 5th. Oh, yeah, I you're, you're a stalker, that's why. Knows the most about me. Because she's a stalker. Larry, stalker. Right? Is he dating a Shannon? Stalker. He's dating or is he married to a Shannon? Shannon. I'm totally not a stalker. Yes, you are. To me, it was really flattering. You're, you're nuts, buddy. I thought she was a stalker. But she does know a lot about my family. Too much, buddy. <laughs> oh, the hot dog girl. Right away, I knew that there was something between Jillian and I. Why do you think I have the hot dog theory? It's how you judge guys. You gotta dress it's your a good way to judge guys. I mean, it caught my attention. Jillian's energy is What contagious. if you put a mustard Jillian and ketchup on your hot dog? Women is fun. What the hell does that mean? Intimidating. A chance of a lifetime. You teach what grade again? Seven to twelve year olds. Lauren's beautiful and intelligent. How are you with government? Should I give you like a blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. blah. There are several women here tonight that I could actually see myself married to. I have vision boards at the moment. You know, I do. Nuts. Mean? You have a lot of attraction. You familiar with it? Uh, you create your life. You know, you have good thoughts, and those thoughts come to you because you're thinking them and you're creating them, and the universe is listening. You know, whatever makes you feel good about yourself and what you want in your life. Well, you got the boot in the first show. Uh, uh, did your vision boards uh, show you that? You yeah, nut. And those things have come. When Jason's standing right beside me, I couldn't wait because I could tell he was getting ready to take his shirt off. That sexist like, pig. The guy was yelling, take it off to a woman. Come on, that's, uh, he gave you, you called a pig. Come on. There's no mustard because I would definitely I heard Hitler put mustard on his hot dogs. Okay, that's a good question. What did you pick me as? Ketchup. Oh, God forbid. Did you pick me as a ketchup person? Mama's boy. Yeah. Are you mama's boy, do you think? I mean, we are really close. Yeah, ketchup for real. Come on now, ketchup. What kind of a guy puts ketchup on a hot dog? Mustard's not a good guy, but mustard is just a little bit more fun than the ketchup. Was it mustard a little sleazier? What about mustard and then ketchup? <laughs> See, once you're crow, you're out. <laughs> oh my god. Jillian was a blast today. Yeah, yeah anyone who uh, bases her dudes on what they put on their hot dogs, yeah, she's a real catch. Do you want to do like the whole again? Oh yeah, that's attractive. Game plan is to make sure that I get one-on-one time with Jason. Yeah, one-on-one time as opposed to like hiding in the bushes outside the window. Never shared a dude with 25 uh, women before? No, you're not. You're not getting it. You're fully yourself. You're not getting it. They wouldn't show this if you're going to get it. They're setting you up for disappointment. I really wasn't expecting this today. I thought it was just going to be a pool party and I was not expecting I was just expecting to see lots of titties. But I had a great time. So thank you all for today. Hot dog girl. Hot dog girl. Oh, shocker. Maybe he's gonna give her a little hot dog of his own later on. Extra mayonnaise, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, wait, uh, that's pretty disgusting, actually. Never mind. <laughs> Can't believe she didn't get picked. She's in pageants. And I saw Natalie running out the ladies room. I thought that I heard her crying. Crying? People cry on this show? Sensitive girl. Oh no. Now, well, Jason, it's a little hard because you see the man that Looks you like she's been crying too. to be with or and to marry. Going out with another girl. Don't That's like the whole point of the show, you okay, okay. idiot. I didn't know there's going to be 25 other people here dating the same guy. Uh. Melissa. Oh, Melissa. Oh, look, there's the pinky ring. Oh, it's right there. They're not even hiding it. I'm anxious to try one of these oysters. Oh, you know what they say about oysters? Absolutely. Oh, he put a lot of hot sauce in that. Just swallow it. Take it all in and swallow it. Oh. Oh, she's lying. That's not good at all. Ugh. Way to start off a relationship. He'll lie to him. Tell him what he thinks he wants to hear. And, you know, there was nothing good. 
probably or romantic about that. <laughs> I don't want to, I was like, I've only seen him for five minutes. You can't have snot running down your. He nose. picks you anyway. Quit, quit crying. I danced my entire life. You know, since I was three, my mom put me in a tutu, and I've done dance classes, and I danced with the Cowboys for a few years. Is that fun? It was fun. It was hard. You're I'm sure it was hard. No, no. Yeah. I, I what I really, really want to do, and what I was planning on doing. <laughs> was your lifelong dream to be a, uh, a cheerleader? I hope not. Get my teaching certificate. That's what I want to do. <laughs> she wants to be a teacher if her career in reality TV doesn't pan out. Oh, absolutely. No question. Teaching first graders would be ten times more difficult and challenging oh for me. And not just more challenging, but more rewarding. Going home at the end of the day going, I did something today. Put her life okay, I caught some future gas gas but pump operators how to add and spell. Me in every way. I mean, I knew she was a cheerleader. Prepared the kids for their, do you want fries with that career? Yeah, talk to the blimp. The magic eight ball Goodyear blimp. I think good we Goodyear paid for that clip. Yeah, she's an idiot. She should just watch the start of the show and then she'd see that she wins. What a moron. Well, if the blimp says, I guess we have to. Oh, he's smooth. I gotta get, I gotta get myself a blimp. Wanna go for a ride? Wow. I just looked at Jason going, "Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Nicely done." Yeah, way to have a date that you can maintain later on when you're not on TV anymore. It's Friday night. Hey, dear, do you wanna go for a blimp ride? Sure. We'll be sitting at home going, "What the hell." Bored. I don't like you really anyway. This is taking way too long, uh, so I think I'm just going to fast forward to the rest of it. Plus, I'm tired of watching this crap. Oh, looks like crying. Oh, I know they, you know, you know, they show early that, that he picks her to go far, so what the hell? Commercials, blah, blah, blah. Megan with the potty mouth wonders why she's not getting picked. Because she curses like a sailor. Blah blah blah. Ooh, looks like arguing. Ooh, finger pointing. Um, oh, it's hard to hard to watch. Uh, going in fast forward. More commercials. Special K. Oh, tough decisions coming up for Jason. Oh, who is he gonna pick? Blah blah blah. Don't pick the stalker. She's crazy. Don't take the one who swears like a sailor. She's not that classy. Do, 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 do. Blah blah blah. I think I'll stop this. Holy shit. Drag it out a little, why don't you? Oh, he did take the stalker. Or did he? It's hard to tell. Come on! There we go. Who didn't he pick? I came here for Jason. You know, I wanted it to work out. They all came here for Jason, you moron. You're no different than the rest of them. I had a connection with him. No, you didn't. You're going home. You have a connection with the limo. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Oh, isn't that sweet? We say that daddy took a flight to heaven. Such a tragedy, but yet such a. I don't think she's quite over her dead husband yet. Um, I'm not sure she's a wise choice. More stripping. He seems to be obsessed with his hot body. Oh, hello. I think some of them will do anything for pretty much any cause, especially on TV. 